everyone, welcome to my channel, Crochet for Baby. In today's tutorial, I will show you how to do this baby hat. Um, it's for a baby from one to three months. It measures 32 centimeters all the way around, which is approximately 12.5 inches, and it's about 15 centimeters long or about six inches long. Um, it's very easy to do, and the way that we're going to do it is by doing it in rows, just like this. We're going to work rows all the way around uh, until we have the size that we need, and then we're going to join it back here in the back and um, close it in the top and then you can add a pump on if you like and um, this is what it looks like once it's done so let me show you how it's done okay so to begin um, I used a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and just a normal light baby yarn number three um, but for the example um, just so that you can see exactly where I'm putting my stitches I'm just using um, a thicker yarn and a bigger hook but again to make this same size, make sure you use baby yarn and a 4.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so like, let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is 32 chains. Um, and like I said, this hat we're going to work in rows. So on the second chain from the hook, we're going to work a half double crochet slip stitch. To do a half double crochet slip stitch, you need to do a yarn over, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then this loop that we just pulled, we're going to um, pass it through these two loops that I have in my hook, just like this. And then again, yarn over, and on the next stitch, insert your hook, pull up a loop, and then this loop, pass it through these two loops that I have on my hook, just like this. That's how you do a half double crochet slip stitch. Okay, so we're going to do this um, all the way down here. One thing I forgot to tell you, when you do your chain, make sure you leave um, a piece of yarn that's about, um, I don't know, I would say 12 inches long, because this is what we're going to use to close the top of the hat. Okay, so this part here where we have our piece of yarn is going to be the top of the hat, and this one um, down here on this side is going to be our brim of the hat. Okay, so continue like this, just doing um, half double crochet slip stitches, just like I showed you, until you come to the last six chains. Okay, so I'm here at the end. I did 25 half double crochet slip stitches, and now I only have six more chains to do. Um, on, the, on these last six chains, we're only going to do a normal slip stitch just like this. Insert your hook, pull up a loop, and close. Just like this. We're going to do six. That's three, four, five, and six. Okay, since this is going to be the top of the hat, um, always, always, we're going to end our row with six slip stitches and always we're going to begin the row with six slip stitches so here we're finishing this first row now we're going to do the next row row two we're going to chain one turn and now i'm going to do six slip stitches starting here and i'm going to only grab the back loop of this stitch and that's where i'm going to do my slip stitch so there's one two, three, four, five, six slip stitches. And now on these um, remaining half double crochet slip stitches, I'm going to work 19 half double crochet slip stitches. And on the last six I'm going to do six slip stitches. Okay, so let me show you. So yarn over, insert your hook, and again, I'm only grabbing the back loop of this stitch. Okay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. And on the last six, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to work slip stitches. And again, only grabbing the back loop. So one slip stitch, two, three, four, five, and six slip stitches. Okay, and that's how you complete the second row. Now on this third row, I'm going to do 25 half double crochet slip stitches. Okay, so you're going to alternate between the second and the third row, um, just doing what I just did. So chain one, turn, and then on this first slip stitch of the previous row, we're going to do a half double crochet slip stitch. One, Two, and again, I'm just grabbing the back loop of this previous um, stitch. Three, three half double crochet slip stitch. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 half double crochet slip stitches okay and on the last six six slip stitches so one two three four five and six remember this one always hides so just pull it with your hook and six okay and this is what your third row looks like okay and now the fourth row chain one we're going to turn we're going to do exactly what we did on the second row we're going to work six slip stitches one two three four five and six and remember I'm only on each one of these stitches it's only worked on the back loop of each of the stitches okay and now I'm going to work 19 half double crochet slip stitches so yarn over and pull through two loops one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19 half double crochet slip stitches. And on the last six, one, two, three, four, five, six slip stitches. So one slip stitch, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and that's how you complete this row, which was the same as the second row. Now for the next row, I'm going to repeat the same thing I did on the third row, which is chain one, turn. Remember, these are slip stitches. So now I'm going to work 25 half double crochets and on the last six here I'm going to do slip stitches. So let me show you that really quick. So on this we're going to do a half double crochet slip stitch. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Now on the last six, one, two, three, four, five, six, slip stitches. Grabbing the back loop. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and that's how you complete this row. Okay, now again, I'm going to repeat the second row. Chain one, turn, six slip stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then I'm going to do 19 half double crochet slip stitches. And on the last six, I'm going to do six slip stitches. Okay, so you're going to alternate between these two rows. Um, and then once you have the size that you need, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how to join this baby hat. Like I said, continue until you have approximately 32 centimeters or about 12.5 inches and once you have that um, we're going to join it to the back and I'm going to show you that in a minute so continue like this and I'll meet you here to show you how we're going to close and complete our baby hat so I'll see you then okay I'm done with my hat as you can see um, I have 32 centimeters um, it measures 32 centimeters long and this is what it looks like um, 
And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to join here to um, both sides. So starting here at the bottom, this is where I have my first um, stitch and I'm going to grab here where I finished my last row and I'm going to introduce this loop to, the, to this first stitch. I'm going to chain one and again back into that same um, space, the first one, and the first stitch back here. I'm going to pull up a loop and do a slip stitch. There's one and then on to the next stitch and the back loop of the next um, stitch here. I'm going to do another um, slip stitch. So this is how we're going to close our baby hat. Make sure that you're grabbing the back loop of each of these stitches. Um, it's kind of hard on this last part here because my last row was a slip stitch. So make sure you're grabbing the right stitch. So there we go. Just like this. I would say that this is the hardest part um, for making this hat, which is the joining. Okay, so this is my last um, stitch. And here to just close our hat, our, um, I already cut my yarn. We're just going to pass that through. And now this is what it looks like once it's been joined. There it is. As you can see it looks very nice and even. You can hardly tell where it was joined. And there it is. Okay, so now to do the top of the hat, what we need to do is this piece of yarn, it's a little too long, so I cut it. So now I'm just going to introduce it through this um, plastic needle, and I'm just going to weave this piece of yarn. This is the piece of yarn, if you remember, I told you to leave um, when you um, first did your chains, um, and this is what we're going to do to close the hat. We're just going to go into each one of these stitches. If you notice, um, this is where we did the chain one and then turned. Um, this is where I'm inserting my needle to um, weave this yarn through. Just like this. And that's the last one. So now all I need to do is I'm going to pull and that closes my hat just like that. Okay. And then this here, I'm just going to um, introduce it again um, or maybe just tie it with this one here and make sure it's nice and, and tight so that it doesn't come undone and make a knot. like that. 
cut your yarn, weave your ends, and this is what your baby hat looks like. If you can see, it's nice and pretty. Um, it almost looks like um, it's been knitted, and it's because of the half double crochet slip stitches that creates um, this ridges here. Okay, so um, you can put a, a little pom-pom just like I did, just like that, or you can leave it like that. It looks um, just as nice. So let me turn it around, and that's what it looks like on this side. Okay, so um, this has been today's tutorial. Um, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.